Debating evolution with creationists is extremely difficult, one might even say nigh on impossible. Not because their arguments are generally hard to refute, if one has a reasonable grasp of the topic, but because they tend to stray. Creationists of all stripes are very much incapable of distinguishing between science in general and evolution in particular. If you start debating evolution with them, after you've refuted their first argument from ignorance concerning the so-called missing links, they will eventually fall back on a God of the Gaps argument involving abiogenesis. It never fails. Once you refute that, their next argument, still an argument from ignorance, will refer to the Big Bang. And to the creationist, this is all evolution. Though to the scientist or science supporter, this is not only three distinct specialities, but also from three completely different disciplines. Biology, chemistry and cosmology, respectively. So, to have a debate about evolution with a creationist, you not only have to be a near expert on the biology of evolution, you must also be a near expert on the chemistry involved in pre-DNA life forms, on amino acids, on abiogenesis, cell biology, astrophysics and cosmology. In other words, for one person to single-handedly refute all the unfounded claims of a single creationist, that person would have to be in possession of not one, but at least three PhDs. Now, this is, of course, ridiculous. I, for one, don't have even one, and yet creationists consider it a great victory whenever they can get me to say, I don't know. What they fail to understand is that the science involved in these fields is so complex that to even become an expert on one of them takes most of a lifetime. And since their God has not seen fit to grant anyone 900 years of life since the days of Noah, this is, of course, absurd. So, we collaborate, we work together, we explain the conclusions to each other, and for those that are not experts in a given field, that is enough. So while I may be pretty well read up on my evolution by now, I still know very little about abiogenesis or Big Bang cosmology, simply because I have not researched them myself, but only read the conclusions of others who have. The scope of science is simply too great to work in any other way. And the only reason creationists are able to come up with equally invalid arguments for each of these fields is that their version of science is essentially limited to Magic Man done it. Luckily, with the advent of the internet, we're able to look up the facts as the creationists spew their lies, and thus we're able to refute them without being experts. Creationists... This, just to inform you, you're fighting a losing battle. Evidence versus superstition is a simplistic two-way rock-paper-scissors game. Evidence beats superstition every time.